Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Warrant Order video. So, basically, Kill Machine's here now, which is Bloody Killer. He changed his name both in COK and here to Bloody Killer. And basically, what's going on here is we're finding people to zero pretty much every day. And yesterday we got Rupe, Rup from uh, MDB, and now we got Garage. And the good thing about Garage for the Horde. 2.8 million power that's good that's like i mean that's a top ranking that's like uh definitely top 50 but probably higher than that uh 2.8 million is hard to get man it's good power level 22 castle mdb it's gonna be fun to zero him here it's gonna be a lot of troops so i've already got my lair set and i already had the buffs on because ganondorf had to delay the hit by three minutes so i just like was like i'll just do it whole new intro and video and everything so guys got some xp packs and we're up to th uh, so close to 35 lord well not that close really we're about 9 900k um so we're ready to roll here we've got everything on our buffs on don't think we're missing anything and yeah this is gonna be a really fun attack we're gonna be doing attacks like this daily guys this is life now this is life now doing fun zeros every day kill machines always out for blood uh, Ganondorf is always out for blood. Alright, here we go. Attack. Confirm. Four. Pet. Speed up. One. Wait. You gotta do the, the 25s first, then do the regulars. Alright, there we go. Come on, man. Two. One. There we go. Alright, we're there. Boom. We got all the boys in here. How many troops do we got? 400,000 T9 mage. 168,000 T8 mage. Not enough infantry, really. Well... We got 52,000 T8 and then about 5,000 um, of the T9 or T7. Oh no. Oh, I hate when I do that. I hate when I accidentally uh, it lags out. So let's take a look at that battle report. What do we got here? Ooh, 185,000 losses. Oh, let's go check out the Ganondorf hit. Oh, the Ganondorf get. Nope, he didn't get the second hit in. Ganondorf didn't get the second hit in. Man, that guy was online. Imagine being online and just boom, just like that. Like. You just get just smashed in seconds you get smashed it'd be pretty rough so here's our troops returning home now i could sit here and wait for like a skill to come in because that's what you know orbital's done that to me before he'll wait till my whole march is out and he knows you know i only got like one extra full march of 180,000. so then he knows he can like hit me and you know hurt me but if i got that instant recall i can just bring him home even if i didn't have the instant recall I could use the gems to, you know, bring them home instantly anyway. But let's take a look at that report a little bit closer. Oh, by the way, I've been I've been messing up. Sorry about that. That's my alarm to hit my farms and stuff. So we're going to be doing that after this. But you can see there, we only lost 16k. It's no big deal. Um, he lost 185,000. So I'll take that, that trade off any day. So here's his... Here's his losses. His losses are all T6 and lower. So, I mean, you know, a lot of people will say, Oh, will you... I, I saw one of the enemies yesterday typing in Kingdom Chat, and he said, Thank you for clearing out all my lower-level troops. I don't care what level a troop is. A troop's a troop. Power is power. And if you're losing, you know, even if you've got T8 and you're losing all your T6s, it's still a big deal. You don't want to lose any troops ever. Like, people always say, like, used to say in COK like oh I'm killing off my low level troops no you don't want to kill off anything sure it's better to lose your low level troops than high level troops like if you're attacking and you want to do a rainbow which by the way I'm making a video about tomorrow um but that doesn't mean I forgot to do it in my lair today but I'll be doing a video on it tomorrow basically putting all troop types in there to um well I'll explain it in tomorrow's video basically but yeah there's a t7 infantry you know, I send 500. They're just a sacrifice. I don't want to send my T9 infantry because, yeah, they're tanks, but they just they die because no one else is going to be sending them. So once we get a lot more people to 26, and we've got like 10 or more people, then we can all send like a thousand to five thousand infantry, depending on the size of the hit. Uh, T9 infantry. So um, you know, those T9 archer actually don't get too bad of kills. 50%. Um, you know, they get a better kill ratio than the T9 mage even. But the um, the T8 mage seemed to get the best um, kill ratio and, uh, you know, take no losses. Losing 1,600, um, you know, T8 infantry, that's expected. Like, when you send the infantry T8, they got decent kills, 6,000, but you just expect them to, um, you know, to die. So there's 
There's Gon, Ganondorf. Hell yeah, he's got a lot of those T9 mage in that bad boy. He don't send many of the T8 mage, which, you know, I I wouldn't usually either, but especially against lower castle levels, the T8 mage get more kills than the T9 mage. Ganondorf explained it. Maybe I can get him to explain it to us so we can do a little little write-up ski. Um, I need to tell Anunnaki to stop sending those T6 infantry because they just kill off, and then I don't want him to lose, you know, um, lose more than everyone else. I mean, he's not losing a ton. He's only lost... 3,000 troops, and what did I lose? 2,000, so only 1,000 more troops, but, um, and then there's Rezus here, um, yeah, yeah, he only lost 700 of the, t his infantry stats, though, are really, really good, you can see there, 114%, um, uh, attack and 62% HP, he's got, um, really good statistics, he spent a lot of time, you know, he has 2 million more power than I do, or at least a million and a half more power than I do, and basically, he spends a lot of he spends a lot of his like resources and stuff on because he has a ton of farms and he spends a lot more than I do so he spent a lot of his uh, resources and stuff and speed ups on his statistics on science and stuff I got a lot of science max but not everything I think he has pretty much everything um, done or close to done and then he has some of the orange equipment and uh, a lot more purple equipment than I do I am gonna get the the um, Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into like a, a purple level 30 helmet, and I'm gonna grind up from level one to level 30 an orange crossbow, because the crossbow gives you something like 40 some percent mage attack. It's amazing. So, hope you guys enjoyed that zero of um, Garav or Garo, whatever his name is. Let's get it right. Uh, Garage. He was lucky enough to shield. He was online and he shielded. Very good job, by the way, Garage, on shielding. Um, you know, it wasn't that bad of a day for you, because guess what? None of his, let me show you the reports, and let me show you why finishing people off is so important, and why it could have been a lot worse for this guy. So, he lost probably close to a million power that he cannot heal back, but let's go take a look at this. Uh, wounded. So, out of this, all of his T8, he, well, he didn't have a ton of T8, I guess. Let's go to his T7. So, out of his T7, so right there, sure he had 65,000 T7 mage wounded, but he still had 27,000 left. If Ganondorf would have came with the second hit to finish him off, all those would have been deaths. Like there would be no more, there would be no more T7 uh, left over. Those 27,000. Same with all these uh, leftover troops, they would have all been deaths. All what did he have left? About yeah, about a hundred thousand troops left. I don't even see a hundred thousand troops left. 27, 40. Okay, yeah, he's got these T6 horses, about 60k. 70, 80, yeah, you add up all those 10,000, it comes to it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed these zero videos. If you could, hit the like button. Tumor makes tumor, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.